let's um let's begin uh it's funny because as i started i as i was thinking about today's class i just thought i think we could use going with that like healing connectivity with humans and strengthening human connections point flex i was thinking a lot about how deep stretching might also kind of help with this i don't know time to let me go I'm trying to pin my video there we go okay um yeah time to focus on this healing and connection and you know it starts with oneself i've got to heal from within i have to connect to myself then i can bring that outward so easy flex point this gets your lymph fluid moving point flex point flex point flex good work and then from here we're going to bring um, the soles of the feet together okay hips right off the bat you ask for it you've got it okay so uh let's just kind of move the knees it's pretty simple i don't need this blanket right now so i like to have my heels on the sticky mat and that helps knees kind of moving back and forth yeah it looks a little bit like butterfly wings the way they move and then coming forward holding your feet lowering your head your back will probably round especially if you're reaching for your feet breathe in exhale and again breath in and exhale come up interlace fingers and i know if you're tight there's a tendency to want to come back so lengthen reach up arms come out to the sides and down and then your hands slip under the ankles and you come forward again and your hands wrap around the outside feet so maybe you try to straighten your back and then you'll round as you bring your head to or towards your feet stretching the inner thighs a lot of tension held in the hip joints breath in exhale we're going to come onto our backs and it'll be the similar movement but i do want to make sure that if you have a block and strap it's nearby okay uh you're onto your backs and you have the soles of the feet together again. So it's what you did before is Bada Konasana, and now you've got Supta Bada Konasana you're on your back. Hands are onto your belly, breath in and exhale. As we move today, I definitely want this to be all level. So meaning, if you need to modify something, you'll have an idea for yourself. If you want to go deeper, I invite you to go deeper. If this is difficult, you bring two blocks, one block under each, uh, under each thigh, like really close to your pelvis. That gives you a lot of support. If this is pretty easy, you start to bring your arms up overhead, extending, extending your spine and breathe. Inhale, exhale. bringing the hands to the knees bringing your knees together so let's go ahead and do the windshield wiper um let's just say a few times just to loosen get movement in your hip joints arms are up overhead generally this is a time for hiking cycling a lot of nice outdoor activities that you know swimming stand up paddleboard <laughs> canoeing i'm not sure what kayaking and uh, so these are this is a great movement for the hip joints okay and from here we're going to press feet into the mat come up into bridge so this is really this is wonderful back work it, it opens front hip flexors but strengthens your back so different ways elbows bent hands palms facing each other clasping hands underneath you in a more advanced way yeah i say advanced because you have to be able to slip your hand underneath you to do this other way otherwise it's too much pressure my hands are supporting my sacrum and breathe 
Inhale, exhale. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale. Release, come out. You have your happy baby. You reach for your feet or your ankles. Go wide with the knees and breathe, stretching your low back. Breath in, exhale. We're going to get uh, extend, so that's optional. If you can, if you like, you get into the inner thigh. Now, I do have some ideas that, you know, maybe you're like, oh, I can't do that. I need a strap across my feet or holding the inside knees, holding calves, holding the feet, maybe simply letting the legs go wide, okay? Just um, what we're looking for is the inner thigh stretch. Breath in, exhale. Legs come together and they're up in the air. Now, if you have a strap, or maybe you can reach for your feet, right? Maybe you have a strap. And let's say you can't reach your feet and you don't have a strap. One other idea here, is to take a block under your sacrum. So there's like three ideas right there. Um, I'm actually going to, just for showing sake, I'll have a strap at the feet. And take a moment here, stretching both hamstrings. Breath in, exhale. And breath in, and exhale. Make sure if you are using a strap that your elbows are bent and your arms are tucked into your sides. And we're gonna release. And then the knees, keep hugging right knee to chest, left leg extends down, take a breath in. Exhale, lift your head, head to knee, holding the foot, breathe in. Exhale. And we'll do second side, hug the other knee in. You could keep your head down, of course, or you could lift and some can reach the foot. Breath in, exhale. We have one more here on our backs and it's the pretzel. <laughs> so um, the nice thing is that, you know, so you could cross a leg over and maybe that's it. Like you're just rocking side to side. And then some of you will find that you drop your knees. So if my right leg is over the other, I drop knees to the left. And perhaps even going further, you could straighten your right leg you can hold your right foot and maybe right hand can hold the left foot so that's why you got the pretzel bird's eye view it looks pretty pretzely see if you can draw your right shoulder down breathe in exhale push out through the heel Let's release and come out and we'll do second side. So you realign, left knee is over the other. And again, for some, it's just kind of a rocking. Maybe that's what feels really good across your back or the rocking action is bigger. I like it all. I like all of this part, all of these parts, I should say. And then a dropping the knees and maybe extending the leg. You don't even have to hold it or hold it and you get, it's more intense and maybe left hand holding back foot. And what I also do is I draw my knee, my right knee back more, so I get more of a quad stretch. Turn your head left, 
draw your left shoulder down and take a few rounds of breath here. So this is low back, it's a twist, it's, a hip, it's hip work, I, it's like a crowd pleaser, <laughs> maybe. I'm so embarrassed when I drink, you can hear me go glug, glug. I've listened to the tapes, I'm like, I don't sound that loud, but the mics are right by my mouth. So <laughs> they're at my ear, close enough to pick up the swallows. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to release, come out. Now we're gonna roll back and forth. We're gonna roll back and forth on our spine. So I'm gonna show, if you already know, the rounding back and going to plow, cool, go there. But if you are, you know, you're like, oh, I need to be more careful with my neck and my back, then follow along, right? So the first one is modified. I come in, I pull in, I extend, I lift, I engage my core, I pull, I come up and lengthen. And just like really arch your, um, in a sense, it's arching, you're lengthening your spine. I'll do that again. I come in, I pull, I extend, I lift, I come up and lengthen. If you're ready to go all the way, let's see if my hair will allow it, come back all the way back, stretch your spine in plow, come out. Another way you could do this is reach the arms up, legs are straightened, and you reach forward. So reach forward, try to extend your back, and then gradually lower your head, but try to maintain the back nice and extended. Let's come up and back, plow. We're going to do, this is the second one, we're doing three, okay? Stretching your back, your neck, you're not looking at the screen if you're in plow, come up and lengthen. Reach up, inhale, exhale, come forward. Maybe you're using a strap or maybe you're holding shin bones or feet, lower your head. Breath in, exhale. Oh, last one coming up, reach your modified form or coming back. Feet reaching down. Sometimes they don't reach down. Sometimes it's one leg. Sometimes it's both. And take a moment. Look at your legs. Breathe in. Exhale. Come out. And reach. Extend. And come forward. Lower your head. Extend your back. And release. So we have a twist. Let's go ahead and um, bend your right knee. So it's like you're facing forward. You bend your knee. The tendency is to turn, but I still want to, you know, first I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm going to reach my arms up. Now I'll twist. And as I twist, I have light on me. I don't know how to dodge the light. And then I'm turning and turning and really getting that nice, like, you know, oh, there we go, uh, getting this extension both sitting bones are down and roll your right shoulder back breathe in exhale now take your arm down your uh, right sitting bones down left will probably come up and reach extend your left arm up overhead maybe you're in a smaller room and you're like you're gonna reach for something or maybe you're close to the wall and you're gonna reach for something so I'm not, I, I really did lift one oh, buttock off the floor. Yep, breathe in, exhale. So this hand that's down, bring it so that your fingertips are pointing at the screen, okay? It's easier on the arm. Okay, release, and we'll do it the other side. So I'll shift, legs are straightened, and I'm facing forward, left knee is bending. Reach the arms up, look forward, breathe in. Exhale, twist, and look back. Let's see. Okay, kind of out of the sun again. Breathe. Move from the navel, move from your ribs, move from your heart center. Feels so good. Twists. I, I, I think I just love twists. They, I love how they feel while I'm in them, when I come out, later, all day. They stay with you. And then your elbow comes down. I have to shift a little bit and arm comes up. So my left sitting bone is down, but the right hip is up, and I'm going to extend. And my 
lower hand, the palm is facing the camera. Breathe in, exhale, my straight leg, ankle is flexed. Breathe. and release and go ahead and come here. So we're just gonna do a little, I don't know, I would call it kind of an experiment in a way for you, like, like you know, you're exploring, right? So basically you reach up, you're reaching for your feet, but I also want you to see, like, you know, we've done the foot pounding, all that, but this is just a little different. So your hands, you're gonna measure, measure, measure. Maybe your hands go to your knees, maybe you go further, maybe you go past your feet, just, Kind of notice where you go. From here, let's come to tabletop. So if that's really hard for you, do bridge again, okay? But you're going to press, bend your knees, take a breath in, exhale, press pelvis up, oh, wonderful, tilt your head back, and use the back muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings are strong right now. So in a sense, you use them, you warm them up. I, I could go so far as to say you might fatigue them a little bit. You come up, and then when you come forward, the muscles say, oh. So walk your hands forward and see if you gained anything. Usually you do. It's amazing. Breathe in. Exhale. I love that Joyce is outside. Oh, gosh, on her deck. Okay. And then we're going to bring the arm. So you could repeat bridge or tabletop or come to reverse plank. So reverse plank, my hands are towards me, elbows tucked in, not splayed out, tucked in, breathe in. Exhale, press, press, toes point forward, tilt your head back, breathe in. Exhale. Use your glutes, use your legs, and then lower. And as you lower, roll out the wrists, reach up. And let's see what happens when you come forward. Ooh, look at those hands, move, move, move. There's definitely a difference for me. I mean, you just got, kind of keep going and going. Breathe in, exhale, and come out. So it doesn't take much like to really get into these forward folds. And I mean, to go deeper, you know, takes effort, but it can be done. And from here, let's come on to the hands and knees. Okay, so um, no one asked about shoulders, but I, I think it, it's important. It's an important movement um, that we're gonna do here, shoulder movement. So, okay, you're on your hands and knees. And let's see, how can I explain this? So your hand is gonna be on your shoulder, okay? Your elbow's down and your arm comes up. This is shoulder it's like thoracic movement elbow points down elbow comes up woo twisting and you know what's really weird this is like it would seem like it's so easy it's not like i mean my elbow should point up my uh, mind wants to go down it's like my up, the upper body doesn't really have that much movement the neck does the lower back does but now we're trying to warm up the upper spine. Notice your elbows. It down. Can you point it up? Let's do two more. Exhale down. Don't strain your neck. Inhale. Reach up. I'm just looking at the screen. I'm not looking up. I want my elbow to do the movement. Last one. Let your head hang and then come up. Okay. Ooh, let's do the other side. So hand on your shoulder and let the arm hang reach up and extend again your elbow wants to come down reach it up and lower let your head always hang when you come down and then follow the opening exhale down let's do three more inhale reach up exhale down inhale you keep your breath going as you're holding and working it exhale down and last one, inhale, reach up and lower. I do like that, I like that movement. So completely different movement, which also has a twist in it, is to thread the needle. So we're gonna take the right arm up, reach it up high, 
and thread the needle. Your right hand threads under the other, your head comes down, taking your right shoulder down. You know the many variations. You can extend your leg or not. And breathe. Inhale. Exhale. And breath in. And exhale. We'll try the other side. From the hands and knees, you'll take your left arm up, reach up high. It's a lot like the wing that we were doing earlier, and then thread through. And when you thread through, take a moment here to uh, move into your upper body. And it is, it's a, you know, when we do twists, it's going to affect hip joints, the whole back, including the neck. and go ahead and come out so we are shifting back to downward facing dog have your fingers spread wide and as you come into this begin to pedal bend one knee press opposite heel down back and forth back and forth heel pressing down and then you can bend both knees, send your sitting bones back or up, and then straighten the legs. Shake out your head, bend your knees again a lot, and then straighten them. We're gonna go wide with the feet and walk your hands back, walk your hands back to your feet. Take your elbows, hands to elbows, and let yourself hang, you could swing side to side. As you swing, allow your whole body to hang. Wonderful for the spine, the whole back will be happy, hamstrings, hip joints open. Mm -hmm. And then hands onto the thighs and you come up. Okay, so blanket is kind of in the way here. I'll adjust my screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, so let's do these, um, like I'm thinking they're squats, but they're kind of gonna warm up our legs um, a little wide. And we can work with the breathing as well. So there's a lot going on. So we don't have to hand our lace fingers. Inhale, exhale, press down. Inhale, come up. So, I'm gonna bring my feet a little closer in. So I'm as wide as the mat, heels turned in a little bit, toe, toes turned up. And why I turned also, I want you to see the difference. You could lean back, you could try that. That's, that's one way, it's not wrong. But today, I wanna warm up the legs. So engage your core and stay a little more upright. Down and up. Exhale down and up down can you go a little further and up the further i go the more i pitch my weight forward again kind of working with hip joints and that you're going to um, take one leg crossover if you need to hold on to something a chair a wall that's that's fine flex the top leg engage your core my standing legs knee is pointing forward deep breath in let's exhale through the mouth Inhale up. I'm definitely pitching back here. Exhale. Inhale up. So I'm stretching the raised legs glute. I'm strengthening the standing legs glute. Inhale up. Two more. Breathe through the nose. Exhale. Ha sound. H-A sound. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hand, keep breathing, bring your hands on your leg. Some of you can go further, I know you can. Some of you can touch down and press on up. Oh, does that fatigue the leg? My leg's just, ah, 
ah, screaming. <laughs> okay. And then from here, those of you who are super strong legged, you're like that, that makes you happy. Okay. So flex, focus, Fran. <laughs> there we go. I'm, I'm telling myself focus. Okay. And breathe, inhale, exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I think there's three more. Exhale. Go a little deeper. Really take a breath in. Exhale. Let's add one more. This is the one we hold just slightly longer. Beautiful. And then you could hold, oh, who knows, hands on your leg, or maybe you could reach down. Oh, that's a deep, it's a lot like thread the needle on your back. And then come on up and release. Good. So feet might be about mat distance apart, and you're going to do the uh, Elvis pelvis. Yeah. Yeah, so um, oh, my sister Tony loves these. Oh my goodness, uh, my sister Tony is, uh, she's special needs and she, she was doing, during the COVID shelter at home, she stayed with my eldest sister the whole time. And um, she was doing yoga with me every day, right? But all my sisters were, Tony was. And we did Elvis Pelvis, so that was it. Nora said, oh my God, she does it all the time. And she'd say, Franny taught me this. Fanny taught me, she'd tell, you know, she would tell Nora that all day long. Nora's like, I know, I know she taught you that. <laughs> so here we go. It's just, it's fun, you know, and it's doable. And you, you might not feel so silly being home alone, you know, or being home and doing this. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And so go a little more wild, you know, like be the king. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And and then release and extend. Good. I mean, I'm on video. <laughs> Here we go. So we're coming to a squat. I think this squat is quite doable. Okay. I'm going to kind of, um, I'll guide you along. And just so you know, you know what, let me show it just so you can decide how to be. There's three ways. All right. So one is you're in a somewhat squat. There's a twist to it. Your hand, so your hand is either on the mat or on a block and you go up and then you carry the block over. Or maybe you have two blocks up and over. Okay, a little slower actually. And then the other is you have, you sit on the block and you go up and over. And the other is you're like heck with the block and you go up and over. Okay, so let's decide how you wanna work. Some of you are already there, good. Um, I really do like that block. I think I'm gonna use the block today. Oh man, that's so sweet. Okay, and so you reach up, extend, and lower. Inhale, reach up, and don't strain your neck when you look up. And exhale down. I would like you to get into a rhythm with your breathing, okay? When you finish the inhalation, there's a slight hold as you continue the stretch. Exhale down, complete the exhalation. Inhale up, slight retention. Keep going at your rhythm. Uh, to be honest, I've never done it with the block under me. <laughs> it's really, really nice. And in fact, like with the block, you're like, wow, you could do all sorts of you know, because if that's harder to do, you can do all kinds of bindings because the block's like holding you up. Anyways, we are going to do a different kind of binding. You're going to come on up and extend, okay? And it's the one where, from a forward bend that you do a binding. So if you're like, oh, no, I can't, I can't do that. Um, well, you have a strap, okay? You have the strap handy if you know you can't, you know, like binding is, is kind of hard for you. Uh, so you drop down and you bring your hands to the inside ankle and around to the outside ankle. What's beautiful is there's like steps along the way. There's, it's a process. 
Now I'm going to do it away, like so that you can kind of see it on the screen. Okay, so my right hand is going to stay on my ankle. My left hand is going to come up, and it's going to I'm going to grab the strap. My right hand is going to fish around and find the strap, and that's how you twist with the strap. Or, or maybe you're like I don't need to hold, or you connect your hands. And when you connect, you start to shift your weight to the left. So there's hip joints and twist involved. Breath in, exhale, lean towards your left. Your left leg is really, really stretched right now. Release, come out, ooh, create length, create length. Reach, look up, and hands are to heart. Whole second side. So you bend your knees, your hands go to the inside ankle and around to the back. And the arm comes up. And you'll wrap your left leg, you use the strap, or your hand is on your back and you say, heck with trying to wrap. And then when you straighten your legs, your, your weight will shift towards the unbound leg. Roll the shoulder back, look upward, breath in, exhale, hip, everything, right? And come on out and release, bring the arms up, extend, and hands are to heart center. Good. So what I, um, I'm thinking about doing, because this, this kind of goes with breathing, um, so we'll, we'll, we're going to come to sitting. We're going to do Nadi Shodhana. I'll guide you through it. It's, it's alternate nostril breathing, but we're only going to breathe through the left nostril, and I'll explain why. And then we're going to do, a, then we do active. We're going to do a round uh, of sun salutations with the breathing. So we'll just kind of see how it all goes. Um, I'm coming closer into the screen. So you can come to sitting and Honestly, to be honest with you, when I used to, when I first started yoga and Margaret McAndrew would spend so much time, 20 minutes of the class doing pranayama, it drove me nuts because I had a stressful job and I wanted movement. I was, you know, I was teaching English, a long commute, of sitting a lot uh, in the office hours and on the commute. So, but we don't do much of it. And now I just love it. Like I don't do 20 minutes of it, but uh, we hardly ever do it in class. So uh, this is my right hand. This is my right thumb, gently to my right nostril. Make sure your hands are clean. <laughs> okay, so we're not, we're not supposed to touch our faces, right? So lengthen the spine. Your other hand, thumb to index finger, is resting. That's the Gyan Mudra, symbolic of gesture of wisdom. Index finger, the individual connecting with the thumb, representing the universal energy. That's the wisdom is we are not alone. <laughs> so you have your right thumb to right nostril. Spine is long. Breathe in through the left. Exhale through the left. Eyes are closed. Breathe in through the left. takes a little longer. Exhale fully through the left. Let your right arm be relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed. Your chin is not down. As if you're looking at the horizon. Keep doing left. I'll explain a little about Ida. You're working with Ida, I-D-A. Ida energy is lunar energy. The whole left side of your body represented by right brain hemisphere, the sensory mind, and the creative mind, the quiet meditative mind. This is the part we want to turn on through our yoga. Do one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Release your right hand. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. Notice them. Breathe through both nostrils naturally, normally. And notice how it kind of feels like the right brain hemisphere is more dominant, which is fine to do because most of the day, most of our 
daily lives, we are in left brain, analytical mind. Now we've moved into sensory mind. This is very healthy for the brain. Usually Nadi Shona, you balance it out, but today I just want to be more in the sensory mind. Slowly opening the eyes and we'll take this new state of existence, a little bit trippy, I don't know. I like this one because it is, you feel it. People are sort of like skeptics about, I don't know, breathing, like what, you know, put your hand in your nose and feel it. It's almost immediate. So it doesn't mean we're gonna be lethargic. Calming just means extremely present, almost said pleasant, <laughs> present and pleasant. Hands are to heart center. We're gonna move with the breathing. So it's, it, it's not um, slow, but it doesn't have to be scrambled, okay? Breathe in, exhale, we're in mountain. Inhale, arms up, look up, a little retention. Exhale, cascade down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, reach your arms up. Stay here, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale forward, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, onto your belly. Complete the breath. Inhale, Cobra, or Sphinx. Stay here, exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, Child's Pose. Inhale, Tabletop, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, swing the foot forward. Inhale, arms up. Warrior one, stay here, exhale. Inhale, exhale, step to a forward bend, front of the mat. Inhale, look ahead of you. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, arms out to the sides, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Few rounds of breath here. The one issue is that my breathing does not match yours. So that's why sometimes it's a little frustrating to be guided by the breathing. I don't know how you, what your experience is on this. Uh, I'd like to do one more round like that. Um, if your breathing doesn't match mine, just take, you know, take as many rounds of breath. I don't want you holding your breath. Slight retention is okay. But holding forever and being miserable, that, that's not okay. So breathe in, exhale. Inhale, arms out to the sides and up, look upward. Exhale, soften your knees, come down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale, left foot back, lunge position. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, stay here. Inhale. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or sphinx. Exhale while you're in the pose. One more breathing in. Exhale, press back, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop, move forward, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, swing your foot forward, stay in your low lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, step forward. Look at your knees. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. And I know it can be frustrating for some if you're like ah, scrambling and others are like, oh, I love that. You know, as you get into it, it's very hard to teach to lead that because I am very much aware that we all have different breath capacity. If I were doing that, like with Rick, he, his breath is really looks long. So, you know, I'd be moving forward and he's still finishing the exhalation. So I think it's, it's a hard one to be guided into. So um, we're coming to a extended side angle and uh, that's side bend, but it's also hip opening and you could have your elbow to knee as you extend. There's so many variations. You could bring your hand to a block or hand is down. If the block, usually the block is behind you, that works nicely, um, or arm reaching up alongside ear and there's some space from shoulder to ear and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Some of you can do a binding. And your right hand can be on your back. That might just be it right there. Or you reach, your hands connect, you roll your shoulder back, and you breathe. Inhale, exhale. We're going to release, come up. So you're looking to the front of your mat. You're going to press forward and come to tree. So the same leg that was back, came forward and is gonna come up. So for me, that's my right leg coming up and I'm, my hands are to heart. I'm looking forward, not up, not down. Arms can, hands can be together, arms are apart. Breathing in, exhale. Releasing the arms down, okay. Second side, I'm gonna go the other way now. So we have your leading foot, you bend the knee, elbow across, you know all the little variations. See how you'd like to work. And I'm going to wrap. So I always dip forward as I wrap and then I have the binding and I can move back. Breathe in, exhale. Breath in. Exhale. We're going to come up, look at the front of your mat, step forward. So the left foot came forward and now the left leg comes up for tree. Of course, you can be by a wall. Hand to heart. Arm reaching up, arms going wide, and breathe. Mm -hmm. 
and release and come out. Okay. So here is my idea for this last kind of scanning. I want to give you lots of ideas. Okay. First of all, if you struggle for wrapping, I would say, let's grab a chair. I'm going to grab a chair. And maybe you don't need a chair. Maybe you've got a sofa, you have something right there you can put your foot on. That's what we need the chair for. Your foot's going to be on it. Okay. I'm going to grab one and show. But if you're like, I don't want to go downstairs and get the, the chair or upstairs, you know, if there's not a chair nearby, you could do this binding again, what you just did. Or you could do the binding we did and then try your bird of paradise. Okay. Um, so, or you could try what I'm going to show. And Tom, you'll appreciate this one. <laughs> All right. So I have, I've got these yoga chairs. You know what? Uh, the studio, it's fully equipped because I, I, I've kind of decided I'm probably going to have like, when, when the time comes, I have people there. Here, I could have eight. I could have up to 10, but plus me. There's space. I, I laid out mats. There's plenty of space. Um, I might have 10 at times, but usually I'll do eight. And I have eight of everything. That's why it's kind of funny. From Ocean Shores, Little Renaissance, I had place for eight. So, and I gave retreats for eight. So I've got sets of eight of everything. So it's kind of funny um, that I'm like, well, I want to keep it to eight. <laughs> okay. So we'll just see about that. So these are yoga chairs. Look, they're backless. They're kind of cool because you could slip your feet in there and do all kinds of things. So here I am. I have eight of them, <laughs> nine of them actually, one for me. And the foot um, is out to the side. So this is a really cool way of wrapping when you feel like wrapping is impossible. All right, so you go over and, and maybe you're like, ah, I'm just gonna work like that, arm up over ear, or you're reaching. You can see how these poses are all related. They're like, they're like relatives, they're cousins. And maybe you're like, I can't. Well, if you pitch your weight forward, you might, or you have a strap, your right hand holds a strap and you connect, but many people can connect. And, and I'm trying not to connect middle, I wanna connect, like wrap my leg. And top arm comes back and you, you're free. And it's, it's really pretty cool. Yeah, so let's come up. Many of you are not doing with a chair, which is fine. And because you have those options. And let's do, so notice side bending, wrapping, hip opening, and there's an element of a twist. So reach up, over. It's a really nice way of getting into <laughs> bird of paradise, <laughs> our own way. It could just be here or reach, especially if, you know, hips are really tight. It's nice. Just maybe raising the leg is a challenge. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do, of course, is if you're using it and you're pretty good, you're like, oh, cool, that's how you get there. Because you can easily, you know, move away from, from the chair. Breathe in. Exhale. Ah, and we're releasing. Okay. Well, either you're coming to a squat um, or you have your chair handy. You can come to forward a squat using your chair. Okay. So there are two ways here. Breathe in. When you're in a squat, you're very upright with your spine. And when you're on the chair doing this forward fold, you're dropping and your back will round. All right. We are going to come to sitting with a few on our mats, no chair. Um, and we have, yeah, uh, a few twists here. Sorry, I'm gonna cross. I'm just gonna cross. So we'll start out with simple. And let's just say you always turn to your right first, okay? So turn to the right and breathe. Twist, get into a breathing rhythm. See if you still have that. You know, we did that nadi, shodna, nadi, alternate, na, nadi is nostril, shodna, alternating. So uh, you still feel like you're connected to that right brain hemisphere. I hope so. Breathe in. Exhale. 
reverse your leg crossing and do second side. Lengthen and twist. and release so from here we have the knees are going let's see yep my knees are going towards my right if this doesn't work for you you have to extend your leg and that's fine okay we're going to be turning towards the right twist ideally sits bones stay down my left wants to come up badly and it comes up just slightly breathe in Exhale. We'll do second side. So the legs flip. And if you need to make some change for your knee, you extend. Sitting bones down. Twist. Breathing. and release. We're coming onto our bellies. And as we come onto our bellies, it's the, all the poses that are related to half locust. So we're onto the belly and just take a moment. So what you would do is um, just pause for a moment, hand, head to hands. And then from here, so I just, I don't want things in the way, right? So <clears throat> what we'll be doing is, I was forgot. So I have the ear mics in. Um, you bring your, so your hands are at your sides. They could be 45 degree angle, that's easier, or they could be out to the side, palms are facing up. I wanna rest the left side of my face down. And I'm sorry, that might make a little sound with the ear. Like The right leg comes up, my head is turned to the right, right leg comes up and I swing the leg across. That could be it right there. My right shoulder comes up or I bend the knee, woo, and I reach my hand. My hand reaches my foot. My foot reaches the hand. Your head is down, breathing in. Now there could be one more that you do. You swing your arm back and maybe both hands will reach for the back foot. You look up. It's a little bit like fish pose and what it does for your back. Bring your right arm only to the floor. Palm down this time. Lower the leg. Come onto the belly. Try the other side. So if you're not sure what's happening now, you'll be able to see my leg in case you wanted to watch before doing. Turn your head to the left, palms face up, left leg up, reach, reach, reach. Uh, there we go. And as you're there, breathing, take your left arm back, look up, breathe. Arm comes back. Lower, release, <laughs> and press up and come all the way back to child's pose. Stretch your spine. And we're going to come to lying on our backs. And uh, by the way, I have my, uh, last time I said it was Thursday and last Friday, I got my signage in. So you can see that's the back door that leads to the parking lot. That's not necessarily entry door. I came in that way. And I've got my signage on all my windows, exterior windows, kind of exciting. So, um, so now I feel like I really exist. <laughs> Let's um, lie on your backs, extend, relax, and feel your presence. Today's session dedicated to healing and strengthening human connections, our individual role in that. 
I would like to read the quote by Dr. Brene Brown once again. I define connection as the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard, and valued. When they can give and receive without judgment. And when they derive sustenance and strength from the relationship. And take this precious time to notice the connection you have to your life, to your life, to your breath, to your unique body, to your unique mind. Robin Williams used to say, we all have a touch of madness in us, don't lose it. It's just that uniqueness that we have and we want to let that shine. And right now, I just kind of feel yourself like this bright day. Follow your breathing, give yourself some quiet time. We're going to begin to deepen the breathing. Move your hands, move your feet, and begin to, just when you are ready, rolling to one side. You may never be ready <laughs> to roll to one side. Uh, and you could turn your uh, audio back on.